the Just series tries to compete against big franchises like Need for Speed or Midnight Club, but just like the plug-bound console versions, the handheld versions of Just can compete against this too. The biggest issue in Just Eliminator is the handling, it never feels right, and this is a bigger issue than it sounds. In Rust, the game is good. You get to choose from a decent handful of game modes, arcade mode is a series of challenges in different cars and tracks, and considering that the game has 60 vehicles, which you can also tune, you will have what to play. And the customization options are pretty neat, there are hundreds of options available. In the career mode, you kinda get what you would expect, you start small with a few money in your bank, and by winning races you unlock more stuff. Career challenge mode was for me kind of annoying to play. In order to pass in the career challenge mode, you had tasks like complete 15 races within one month of game time with just 15 grand in the bank. As for race types, in the game you get circuit races, point to point races, drag races, time trials and eliminator races. As for the gameplay, it's different to other street racing games. Here unlike Need for Speed where speed is king, in Juiced driving clean is king. You need to watch how you drive, as even small crashes can have a significant impact on your car. First the neon light starts to flicker and then your nitro starts to leak, after that your turbo will go and finally the steering. At this point you might as well just give up and start the race all over because you are most probably not going to win with your damaged car. But don't confuse the game with a racing simulator, cause it isn't. The controls feel weird, there are times where they feel too loose and times where they feel too tight, but they rarely feel good. And also, even if damage plays a big role in the game, there are barely any damage models on the cars you drive, which is a big step down. Overall the concept of the game isn't bad, but the execution made it less great. The content is great, it has many race types, multiple fun game modes, you can customize your vehicles in countless of ways, but as good as the content is, the gameplay isn't all that great, the handling never feels right. And from the poor experience you get when driving, you will start to nitpick what the game has. Like the lack of damage models, or others claim that the tracks are bland and uninteresting and that they all blend in together. And this will be just small details. If the handling itself, the most important part of a racing game, would have been fun. Choose 2 Hot Import Nights tries to fix the bad handling from the first game, and it fails. The handling is different now, but it's not better. The cars can power slide, but they continue to feel off. You never feel comfortable when handling them. A nice new addition in the game is the new spook meter, which means that when you drive behind an opponent long enough, they will get nervous and screw up. As game modes, you get the same ones from the first game, only that this time point to point races are called relay races and instead of show off, now you get the drift game mode, where you essentially do the same thing, just like in the previous game, you drift for points, and due to the bad handling, the mode isn't all that fun to play. As for the tuning and car list, it's just as great as in the other game. It's too bad that this game too has bad handling. In a racing game you absolutely need to make sure that the driving mechanics are the best, as the game is based around driving. But unfortunately, the driving isn't that great, it's inconsistent, and that alone drags the game from being very promising to being forgettable. And it's really sad, because you can see some improvements in the presentation from the first game to Just 2. And even with the handling, you can see that they tried. But still, the inconsistent driving that jumps from too loose to too tight will get on your nerves. The games are still good, don't get me wrong, 
you can still have fun with the hybrid simulation arcade controls. But me and the other reviewers that played the game were annoyed by the handling. And this isn't good in a game based on driving. Ok so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and terribly thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.